Hello everyone, welcome to AMS Academy. I am Shari Gupta. I am here with today's current affairs. So, before we move forward, subscribe our YouTube channel AMS Academy and press the bell icon for daily current affairs. Now, let's start with today's current affairs. First is, Sustainable Gastronomy Day is observed on 18th June to acknowledge gastronomy as a cultural expression of nature and culture diversity of the world. Sometimes, gastronomy is also called the art of food. Next is, India is set to get elected unopposed as a non-permanent member of UN Security Council for two year terms starting in January 2021. India along with Mexico and Kenya will get elected comfortably. And if we talk about UN Security Council, it is formed in 1945 and there are five permanent members including Britain, China, France, Russia and US and other non-permanent members in UN Security Council. Next is IIT Hyderabad researchers developed an artificial intelligence powered COVID-19 test. It can be performed at affordable cost. The test kit can produce results in around 20 minutes for symptomatic and asymptomatic patients. Next is the Indian Institute of Toxicology Research, IITR, in tie up with Lucknow based startup, has developed a microwave based disinfection machine called Optimizer. It can make PPE kits and N95 masks reusable within 10 minutes. Next is the Union Minister for Social Justice and Empowerment, Dr. Thawar Chand Gehlot, inaugurated Composite Regional Center in Rachi. It will provide rehabilitation services including physical medicine, physiotherapy, occupational therapy, psychology, etc. to persons with disabilities in the state of Jharkhand and adjoining areas. Next is India has pledged to construct a 2.33 crore sanitization facility at iconic Pashupatinath temple and to improve the infrastructure for the pilgrims. The project would be constructed under the Nepal Bharat Maitri Development Partnership as a high impact community development scheme by India. Next is Deccan Development Society has won the Prince Alberto II of Monaco Foundation Award, one of the most coveted environmental awards in the world for the year 2020. It has been awarded in recognition of the work of DDS women to rehabilitate degraded land and promote biodiversity. Next is Hima Das has been appointed for Khel Ratna by state government of Assam. She is one of the youngest nominee for Khel Ratna. Next is the Khadi and Village Industries Commission has rolled out a unique project to produce Neera and Palm Gold which has huge potential to create employment in the country. It aims at promoting Neera as a substitute to soft drink while also creating self-employment traditional trappers. Next is the Central Board of Indirect Taxes and Customs CBIC has launched e-office in over 500 GST and customer offices. It will help improve governance by automating the internal process of handling files. The chairman of CBIC is M. Ajit Kumar. Next is in Uttar Pradesh, a special commission has been set up for the employment generation and safeguarding the interest of workers named as UP Kamgar Shramik Seva Yojan Awam Rozgar Ayog. The commission will have an executive board in which many ministers will be members. Next is UP has become the top state in the country to provide employment to the workers under the Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Scheme as MG Narega. 
According to data released by officials, around 57 lakh workers got employment in around 57,000 village panchayats of the state. And if we talk about Uttar Pradesh, capital is Lucknow, CM is Yogi Adityanath, Governor is Anandi Ben Patel, and there is a national park is called Dudwa National Park. Next is in Manipur, State GM and Birin Singh inaugurated three projects undertaken by State Public Health Engineering Department. And if we talk about Manipur, capital is Imphal, governor is Najma Haptullah, and famous for Loktak Lake and Kebul Lamjao National Park. Loktak Lake and Kebul Lamjao National Park both are in Manipur, and there are some famous festival which are Kut, Yaosang, Cheraoba and Garnagai. Next is the Institute of Management Development recently released the World Competitive Index in which India ranked 43rd in the index. Singapore topped the list followed by Denmark and Switzerland. And Venezuela is at the bottom. Next is Vinit Tirajasai appointed as the new Chief Financial Officer of Mindtree. He has earlier served as the CFO and CIO of KPIT Technologies. Next is Everest Daishamai will be sworn in as Burundi's newly elected president after the sudden death of incumbent Pierre Kurunziza. Dashima is the former army general of Burundis. And if we talk about Burundis, Burundi's capital is Gitega and currency is Burundian franc. Next is Kyrgyz Prime Minister Mukhammad Kalai Abel Ghazi resigned over corruption probe. He was appointed as Prime Minister in April 2018. And if we talk about Kyrgyzstan, its capital is Bishkek, currency is Kyrgyzstani Som. And last is Obituaries. Noted folk singer of Uttarakhand, Hira Singh, passed away. Recently, he was appointed as Vice Chairman of Gadwal, Kumauni and Johnsari Academy by the Government of Delhi. Next is Mahavir Chakra Awardi, Lieutenant General retired, Raj Mohan Vora died due to COVID-19 in Delhi. The Mahavir Chakra is the country's second highest gallantry award. Lieutenant General Vora has received the coveted award in 1972. So this is all for today. If you like it, please give me your feedback in comment section. Do like, share and subscribe our YouTube channel AMS Academy. Thank you everyone.